Side of... Yep, it's a lizard. It's all lizard. Oh, why does it have a thing on its back? Also, is there supposed to be a... What? Why did I randomly get a Twinkling Titanite? Okay. I will take it. Hopefully this doesn't kill me with fall damage. Nope, okay. Not even close. Why was it just kind of sitting there? Did not detect me? I was practically on top of it. Hmm. Oh well. I'm fine with this. That is probably death. Oh, one of you fucking guys. <sighs> is, am I looping back towards the undead settlement? Okay, I've seen two undead settlement enemies recently. Although, he didn't have a cage on his back last time. That's new. Oh, there he is again. Okay. With all due respect, sir, I'm going to have to stab you in the butt. Okay, never mind. You turn around. That's fine. I am fine with you turning around. That is... Oh, well, I missed. But he's going to fall down there, and then I can do a nice plunge attack on him. A goodbye, my friend. I do lots of damage. Heavy damage to you. A yes. A yes. A heal up. I'll take your Titanite Shard. Oh, by the way, I need large Titanite Shards now to upgrade my Claymore, so that actually doesn't help me at all. Unless I want to switch weapons to something else. Which I do. I do have this... Where is it? <sighs> Fudge. Let me actually look at my inventory for a second. Uh, is it down? No, it's not down. I must just be passing over it. Ah, here it is. That thing looks awesome. Here, let me... I know I can't use it because I don't have a high enough dex stat. But this thing looks cool, and its move set is really cool. I think that's cool anyways. Power attack. It's kind of sucky. But, hey, all power attacks are kind of mediocre. Oh, it actually didn't try and do the little hold down thingy. Ooh. Does this fancy little spin thing. Which I'm assuming attacks in uh, all directions. Anyways. But yeah, I might invest in dexterity and then invest in that. Oh, hello. I'm fine with this. I take free plunge attack. And uh, fuck you. I'm gonna say, if you're not gonna hit me, that's fine. I'll charge up another power attack and kick your teeth in. You sack of shit. Cool, an item and another one of those guys, which I hate. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think I'm gonna be able to sneak up on this guy. I think I'm just going to have to fight him head on. I think three attacks. Yep, staggers him. Alright, I was right. Three attacks. That power attack should do the trick, and it did. Awesome. Herald stuff. Ooh, a spike mace. Spike mace. Spike mace. Did I already have a spike mace? Yes, I did. Ooh, that's another thing I might use. Oh, I have the dexterity for it. Let me try this out. If I do hand it, it goes eh. 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 Okay, I can do three attacks, two-handing it. What's its special? Ooh, that could come in handy. What's its power? Its power actually doesn't take a long time, considering. Okay, what's its one-handed, just in case I ever decide to use shields again? Ooh, strange. Okay, what's its one-handed power? I actually kind of like this weapon. I might try it out. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, obviously, until I invest in it, I'm going to be sticking with the Claymore. Oh, also, uh, I went back and fought that Frost guy. He drops this blade, uh, which needs dexterity. But it does frostbite damage, and it looks kind of cool. So I probably... I might use it. I don't know. I was going to say probably won't use it, but who knows. I think it'd be fun to go through the game again and change my build up and then like use that. Like make an entire build around that sword. Oh cool. Another bonfire already. Like I didn't even do anything. Just went from the boss room, fought like what, three guys in a lizard? No, four guys. Oh, I should probably actually rest instead of just lighting it on fire. But gosh dang, Dark Souls, you're going soft on me, buddy. You give me bonfires left and right. Oh. Oh, that's a person. I was gonna say that looks like there's an item down there. Oh. It's an evil person. Well, just in case, let me see if I can talk to him. Nope, nope, no talking. Got it, got it. <laughs> Very evil. 
A very fuck you. <laughs> Is this why they give me a bonfire? Because this guy's supposed to be hard? So far he hasn't been hard. Maybe he has some kind of combo that like one shots. Oh, you sack of shit. Oh, you're gonna die now, son. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, okay. You're a bit slower than I was anticipating. And guess what, you suck of shit. This cop. Oh, you rolled backwards. That's fine. There we go. You're dead now. Praise the sun. <laughs> Probably. Hopefully he wasn't secretly a good guy. I mean, he did attack me. I did try and talk to him. Paladin's ashes. Oh, okay. I bring ashes to, uh... What's her face? Um, the, the old lady store. And uh, she unlocks stuff, which is how I got a key to that place near the rats. Um, that, hold on. Uh, the dilapidated bridge. Past the bridge, through the door, there's the place with the rats. There's a, uh, a little gate thing there that was locked. Uh, and the last time I gave her the mortician's ash, she sold me the key to that thing, which goes to a shrine, which can... Uh, unhollow you. Anyways, I probably should have been talking about this during the load screen. Um, but yeah, let's see what she gives me this time. Hello, fair old lady. I have ash for you. Oh! When did I get Dream Chaser's ashes? I don't actually remember getting those. It must have been one of those items I grabbed really quickly and didn't actually read. I don't know. <laughs> So I don't get anything for it? I don't actually remember. I guess I'll tell her. I really wish I remembered where I got this from. <laughs> I mean, I know it was somewhere in the swamp area because I haven't been anywhere else. Oh, okay, it doesn't actually give me an option to agree or disagree. Okay, um, was there anything new that got unlocked anyways? I'm not sure that was there before. That might be new. That might also be new. I think one of some of these may be new. This is probably new. Uh, that might be new. Okay, no, no new keys. No new spells, no new equipment. Ooh! Leather armor is here now. Also, exile mask, stuff like that. This was, this was from a boss in... Oh, hold on. Sage's big hat. Cool. Awesome. So, stuff did get unlocked then. Ooh. Hopefully that didn't fudge up the capture. Such loud noises. Hum. Hum diddly dum 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 dum. Should I invest in this armor? I actually don't know if it's good or not. I'll probably just buy it all. Why not? I think I... Yeah, I have the souls for it. And it seems fancy. Can't buy the big hat anymore now. Should probably also give her the other ash. Oh, so this one's good. The other one was sucky. I probably should have done this first and seen what the new wares are before spending money on that, because now it might be something better. Okay, okay, yep. That's new. For sure. Uh, these are new. The Undead Hunter Charms. Um, let me see. Ah, that's new Crescent Axe. Cool, it doesn't do a faith thing anymore. Because I'm pretty sure in the first game it had faith modifier. That bow might be new, I don't remember. This is new, but I don't do that anyways, so it doesn't really matter. I feel like there might be one more shield here now, but I don't know which one would be new, or might just be making stuff up, who knows. Okay, no new armor, so that was probably a good investment on my part. Oh, Lloyd's Shield Ring. Boost damage absorption when the HP is full. My HP is pretty full, usually. I mean, I do tend to heal up to full HP because my Essence Flasks restore so much because I have that Essence Flask ring on. This might be worth using. Yeah, I might as well just buy it just for SNGs. 
Yes, I will bring more souls, my lady. Uh, what do I want? Hold on. Do I have... No, I don't. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's still good. Um, no, there's never anything to repair. <sighs> what to invest in? I mean, I have 12 Titanite Shards, and I'm sure I can easily grind for more, so it's not that big a deal. I might go and upgrade Spiked Mace. Yeah, because I can't use the other things, so I might as well just do the Spiked Mace. Got something I'm interested in. I already tried out its moveset, and I liked it. Oh, I'm out of souls. Okay. Wait, how much do I need to upgrade it one more time? Because I think that is... Where is it? Where is it? Did I do the wrong option? Oh. No, no, I did the right option. Where where to go? Oh, there it is. 1300. Okay. I should have some souls I can use. There we go. Oh, yeah, I've got tons of souls I can use. Awesome. This one will probably give me, like, 2000. Which means I probably shouldn't have used it. Eh, oh well. Whatever, it's not that big a deal. These souls are made for using, and that's just what I'll do. Why do I keep going to that option? Such an idiot. Woo! Okay, spike mace. Wait, is that now requiring large? Yes. Oh, I do have enough large for it. Okay. So I could do this, well, once I get the souls. Or I can do the large on uh, the fire claymore, which has suited me quite well so far. Hmm. I mean, it did get rid of the attribute bonuses, so it won't scale as much, and so far I've just invested in a bunch of strength, which this does have a C ranking. Actually, if I infuse it with the heavy thing, I think I do have a heavy thing, which I believe boosts its strength. Yes, I do. It costs a lot. I actually have two of it, I think, is what it's saying. Oh, then it'll move the attribute bonus up to A. This is probably worth investing in, then. If I can do Heavy Gem, and then also up it one more, then I feel like this mace is going to be a killer weapon. Alright, what else? Sharp is Dex. Uh, refined. Oh, oh, uh, more or less is a balance, so it'll add a C ranking of Dex. Uh, raw just does Raw Power, which in the other games was terrible. I'm assuming it's terrible here as well. Uh, I already know what Fire Gym does. Poison Gym, I'm assuming, does the same as Fire Gym, but lets it do poison damage. Yeah, yeah. 34 poison damage, it says right there. Oh, I forget that this mace also does bleed damage. That's fun. Yeah, I'll infuse it with the Heavy Gym. Unless there's a bleed damage gym, maybe I should wait for that. Up my bleed damage even more on it. Okay, how much... Okay, uh, this might end up being a waste, but I'm going to use all my little consumable soul things, so... Let's see if this lets me have enough. Okay, and then that should give me enough. Awesome, and I have some of those souls to spare. Blech. Can't speak. Come here, baby. Yes. Gonna get a nice, powerful weapon. What am I doing? Oh, I'm at repair again. Why the f- I'm such an idiot. Derek, you're stupid. No, you're not, Derek. You're beautiful. Oh. Alright, awesome. Okay. I am assuming this now does lots and lots of damage. <laughs> Let's see, that's 144 plus 144 fire damage, but I think it also has to calculate uh, armor stuff twice. And this does 195 plus 147. <laughs> so more or less, I uh, more than doubled my attack power with this. And I don't think it's much slower than the Claymore either. Let's see, anything new from you, my friend? Awesome. I don't know if I'll have the souls to buy it all, but 
I think this is new. It might be, might not be. It's been too long. I, I, he's definitely got a new thing of embers now. Um. Oh. Oh, it's Zweihander. Ah, shoot. I should have checked here first. Zweihanders are amazing. I could have bought the Zweihander and then just fully upgraded that, and it would have been fun. Oh, well. Pontiff. Pontiff. I know that name. I think I know that name. I mean, it's a dex weapon and a mage weapon apparently as well, but... Anyways, uh... Not really interested in all the other things, weapon-wise anyways. Any new awesome looking shields? There's another pontiff thing. Elkhorn. Huh. Okay. Okay, so now he's got assassin's equipment. That wasn't here before. But it's light equipment, and I'm currently doing heavy stuff. Uh, my starting class on this particular reboot file was a knight, so I already have that. Alright, so outside of possibly using and fully upgrading this Zweihander and making it a heavy Zweihander or something like that, this... I'm still content with this mace thing. Oh, I'm over now. Okay, uh, 79.8. Let me actually see, what else could I do here? All right, well, I'll be wasting a few point of percents. But outside of that, this gets me a decent roll, a decent armor. <laughs> I look really stupid, though. <laughs> Whatever, this isn't Fashion Souls. Now I have this badass heavy weapon. I can do three regular attacks with it. All right, I am satisfied with this. This was definitely worth coming back to Firelink Shrine to do. Cathedral of the Deep. Oh, I found the Cathedral of the Deep! Awesome, okay. Hold on. So, I'm wondering if there was anything more to the swamp, because I've, I've... You guys didn't see footage of it, but, uh, Farron's Keep was a thing, Keep Ruins was a thing, Old Wolf of Farron was a thing, and that's all after Crystal Sage. So I'm wondering if maybe there's another boss in the swamp that I didn't find, because I thought I explored all of the swamp. I was actually at a loss for where I was going to go next. Which is part of the reason why I climbed the ladder and then fought the uh, stray demon on the roof. I'll probably go back in the swamp just to double check, but I'll do that later because I'm much, much more intrigued by the Cathedral of the Deep because this is new to me. I don't want to go backtrack through swamps trying to figure out what I missed. Nah, I'm going to go to the Cathedral. 